This is a 45 minute all levels vinyasa class and our plan today is to use a strap to work into Bird of Paradise and Bound Half Moon or variations of. It's absolutely no worries if you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a towel, you can use a scarf, you can use a belt, something else, just to kind of lengthen the reach of your arms and be able to connect your hands potentially in a bind, even if you don't have the shoulder opening accessible or available for you this morning. And don't be intimidated about the strap. I'll show you how to use it, ways to get into it, and you absolutely do not have to use it. So if you know that you like those shapes without or don't even want to try those, as always, you do you, and that is totally fine. We are gonna get started today in a standing position. So you can find your way toward the top of your space. If you do have a strap hand, you wanna go get one, I like it near the top of your mat, and that's where we'll use it from today. So it's handy and available for you. As you arrive, you take a moment to look around your space and just kind of orient. Notice where you are, notice what you notice. And then allow your awareness to turn back inward. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Take some time to shift a little bit forward and back, toes to heels, side to side, right foot, left foot. And then try to find some evenness between your feet and between the toes and your heels so you have a nice grounded, rooted stance. Scan your body from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Notice whatever, what other areas are talking to you and what they're saying. Notice any other thoughts in your mind any plans that you're making. Give yourself permission to put all of that on pause for the next 45 minutes and simply be present in your body, in your practice. If you haven't yet, turn on your strong, loud breath, perhaps in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you. Ujjayi breath. A slight constriction in the back of your throat sounds like the ocean or like a whisper, if that feels good. And let this breath link body and mind, keep you present. If you find yourself distracted or lost in thoughts, remember you can turn your awareness back to your breath. I always have to give myself the reminder when I'm using things like props, which I love, that it's great to ask for help and to use the help. And it's not a crutch, it's not a bad thing. It only makes you stronger and lets you go a little deeper and further. Eyes can stay closed or gently blink them open. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, flat back hinge from your hips. You can move slowly, you can absolutely bend your knees, relax your head and neck at the bottom. Lift halfway, breathe in, hands to shins or to the floor, slide your shoulders down your back. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. Back to standing, knees can be soft, arms to the sky, full breath in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Once more like that, inhale, reach to the sky, a half sun salute A. Exhale, dive forward, engage your core to support your low back. Let your head and neck relax to the bottom. Lift halfway as you breathe in. And exhale, fold. Bring your feet a little wider for a rag doll. You can hold opposite elbows or hands to the back of your head, neck, a little traction. Allow for a little sway, a bob, a shake, some gentle movement here just to release through your spine. Really feeling like gravity is doing the work. You're not forcing a stretch. My knees are pretty bent, so my belly's on my thighs. You might feel the same as accessible or comfortable. One more breath. Release your hands down. Keep your feet pretty wide. Lift halfway, breathe in. Right foot back. Drop your right knee down if you'd like. the sky and then gently sink your hips forward keeping your low belly engaged and your tailbone slightly scooped under so for me it's not a complete collapse forward it's more of a gentle press of my whole thigh and pelvis forward breathe in here 
Exhale, cactus your arms, open up your chest, slide your shoulders down your back. Hold for a big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, release your hands down. Step back to a high plank upper push-up or a tabletop and hold. Spread your fingertips, really press into your mat, shoulders above your wrists. Engage your low belly. Inhale, little shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Maybe knees come down first. Maybe your body moves in one line to the floor. Three baby cobras, lift your heart as you breathe in. Lower as you breathe out. Twice more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Once more, breathe in. And breathe out. Press back to a child's pose or downward facing dog. And maybe you decide to pause in child's pose for a moment, a seat or something else. Come back to your breath, reconnect to whatever is happening in your experience right now. And we will meet in a downward facing dog. So moving really slowly and mindfully to start just to create full openness through your entire body eventually moving into some binding shapes using our strap, but allowing some freedom of space, freedom of movement here as we're getting started. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step hopper floats to the top of your mat, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward folds, release. Rise up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach overhead. This time with your right hand, find your left wrist, stretch up and over to your right, a standing half moon. Try to relax your shoulders, breathe into your sides, feel space along your waist, into your ribs and intercostal muscles, your low back. Nice breath, Sam. Back to center, breathe in. Switch hands, switch sides, stretch to your left with your upper body, lean your hips to your right. Feel the space. Back to center, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, folds. Heel toe your feet a little bit wider. Again, find your ragdoll shape. Maybe going a little deeper into a hamstring stretch. Maybe keeping a deep bend in your knees. This time, perhaps you nod your head yes, breathe in, and shake your head no, breathe it out. Release any tension in your neck. Let your hands release down to the ground, lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, replace your hands, left foot steps back this time, lower your left knee down. Both arms overhead, adjust. Two downward feet. In your down dog, can you press your chest more to your thighs? Maybe it's helpful to bend your knees, tilt your tailbone up to the sky a little bit more. Notice how your shoulders feel here. Try to keep some space away from your ears so shoulders aren't creeping toward the ground, toward your ears, your head. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop to your hands, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Folds, breathe out. Stand tall, reach high, full inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale to a chair pose, Utkatasana. We're gonna take just eagle arms. Right arm goes underneath your left. You can hold opposite shoulders. You can connect back of your hands or palms like Sam is doing. Try to relax your shoulders out of your ears. Maybe hug your elbows toward each other and then away from the, your chest to find more stretch through your upper back. Breathe here. One more full round of breath. 
Unwind just your arms, inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. High crescent lunge this time, press through your feet, find connection to the ground to rise up, arms overhead. Breathe in here. Cactus your arms as you exhale. Find that little back bend, little lift of your heart. Hands to the sky, inhale. Open to warrior two as you exhale. A few rounds of breath to find warrior two. Take some time to set yourself up. Front heel in line with back heel or arch. Back toes face the long edge of your mat or even slightly forward. And then notice what's happening with your front knee. Try to keep it above your ankle. Bottom half stays the same. Inhale, reach forward with your left hand. Exhale, side angle, left forearm to your thigh, right arm to the sky. And then play with some movement in your top arm. It could be big circles. It could be cactusing, opening. Just allowing a little bit of space through that shoulder socket. And still paying attention to your left shoulder that's not collapsing up to your ear. You're still strong with the muscles down your back, along your sides, your obliques, to stay lifted and open. Next inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and back, left leg straight, left arm to the sky. Stay for your exhale. Full breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame your front foot, plant your right palm, reach your left arm to the sky. So a twisted lunge, you can drop your back knee or stay lifted in your back knee. Try to slide shoulders down your back. Deep breath in. Exhale to side plank. I'm going to take a supported version on my knee. You're welcome to come to the outer edge of your right foot like Sam is doing. Stack or stagger your left foot, left arm to the sky or over your head. Yeah, beautiful. Find a sense of lift and lightness. You're not focusing your energy down, but more reaching up. One more inhale. Exhale your transition to downward facing. Taking a seat, a little pause, a little moment as always, a full vinyasa. Nice deep inhale here. Open your mouth, make some noise, let it go. Again, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale, step, hop or float to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana, longer spine. Exhale, fold, release head and neck. Root to rise, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Second side, inhale to chair pose. Exhale, your eagle arms, left arm below this time, holding opposite elbow or shoulders, or connecting your hands back or palms together, elbows crossed or stacked. See where you feel this. If you're feeling low back, can you engage your low belly? Maybe adjust how deep you sit, going further up or further down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more round of breath. Release your arms, chair, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back, high crescent lunge. Use your inhale to rise up. Side, so take the time to feel this, to adjust, to settle to notice where knees are, what your hips are doing, what your shoulders are doing, to breathe. Try to keep this nice, strong, steady bottom half. Inhale, reach a little forward. Exhale, your version of side angle, forearm down. You can always do hand inside or outside your foot. Left arm to the sky and then some circles or movements just to get into this left shoulder joint a little bit more. You can imagine rotating your heart to the sky. Watch again your right shoulder, the tendency to collapse into that. I've got some real funky movements going on over here, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be fancy or pretty, just let it be. One more round of breath. 
Reverse triangle, reach up and back, breathe in. Right leg straight, right arm to the sky, stay, exhale. Another big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame your front foot into your low lunge. And then left hand down, right arm to the sky for a twist. Back knee lowers or lifts. Again, slide your shoulders out of your ears. That'll give you some more space across your chest, some more strength across your upper back. Try to keep that sensation of openness, shoulders stacked, and make your way into your side plank, either on your left knee or outer edge of your left foot. You can always lower your arm for that transition, so if it's super awkward, don't feel like you have to keep it up. Feel a long line of energy from your back foot or feet all the way through the crown of your head. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, release. We'll take a vinyasa to a child's pose or maybe move straight to a child's pose. So you can take it all the way through to down dog and then drop your knees from child's pose. You can come to a seat and find your child's pose a moment to rest, reset and reconnect. Imagine breath here moving into your upper back as if you could really expand your shoulder blades, the space between, get into your rhomboids, across your trapezius. And then send that breath down your back. Lower ribs in toward your kidneys, low back and pelvis. Next inhale, lift to tabletop, hands and knees. We'll take this to a thread the needle pose. Right arm reaches out and up to the sky. Roll your wrist. Exhale, thread to your left. Drop your shoulder, your head down. You can keep your left hand by your face, stretch it forward. You can always wrap it behind your back for a little half bind. I always notice that my hips wanna go super left on this side, so I think about drawing my right hip to the right. You adjust however you need. For an extra balance challenge, you can play with extending your left leg back behind you off the ground or toes on the ground. Left hand by your face, unthread right arm out and up, counter stretch, full breath in. Exhale, release your hand down. Switch sides, left arm to the sky, roll your wrist. Thread to your right, drop your shoulder, your head. Take the arm variation that feels good for you. And then try to even things out as best you can to match the first side if that feels appropriate in your body. Or if you feel asymmetrical, you can do something completely different. more full rounds of breath. Right hand by your face, unthread left arm out and up, counter stretch, big breath in. Exhale, release your hand down. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Deep inhale through your nose. Stick out your tongue, let it go. Another lion's breath, inhale. Stick out your tongue, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Step, hopper floats, top of your mat, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in. Folds, breathe out. Before you rise, find your strap. You might take your feet a little wider. You might have to adjust on your mat. Keep your strap in one or both hands. I like feet hip distance, knees bent. And then roll to standing so your head is the last thing to come up and you're holding onto your strap with your hands. Feel free to take some shoulder sh sh shrugs, circles. If you don't have a strap, no big deal. If you've got it, we're gonna open it wide. You wanna make sure that the buckle's not gonna smack you in the face. So we have pretty long straps, so we've got them doubled up. You might have yours open all the way. Towel, uh, a little bit wider than shoulder distance. We're just gonna reach up, back, down, and around. Taking some cir shoulder circles, I call this shoulder flossing. If you feel like you need to bend your elbows, take your hands a little bit wider on your strap or towel or belt or whatever you've got. If you're not feeling much, you can bring your hands a little closer together. I'll let Sam continue. If you don't have a strap, you can just do big arm circles, big shoulder shrugs, move with your elbows, feel all that crunchiness, both directions. If you've got a strap, it can be nice to take your strap overhead, take a little side bend. Without a strap, you may take one arm down your leg, or I'm a little teapot style, one hand to your hip. 
and then to the opposite direction. And then with your strap still, if you've got it, if you don't, I'll give you an option, arms overhead. Keep your strap in your right hand, let your left hand fall by your side, right arm up to the sky. And I'm just gonna turn around so you can see, yep, we're gonna bend right elbow, find a little cow face stretch. Left hand finds your strap down your back. And you may prefer, and this could be great if you don't have a strap, to find your uh, tricep or elbow with your left hand. Gently pull it behind your head. You could always grab a shirt, grab your ponytail. I have a friend who used to grab his braid down his back. <laughs> and you might find that it helps to lift your chin, take a little bit of a back bend to feel more sensation in your shoulder. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you've got your strap, let go of your top hand, bring it down by your side, reach your left arm to the sky so it's got the strap. Again, bend your elbow, right hand finds the strap behind you, whatever you can hold on to, or without your strap, right hand finds your tricep or elbow, gently pulls it behind your head. A little lift of your chin, your chest. Release your top hand. You can let your strap fall to the ground just in front of you. We still want a hand and we're gonna use it pretty soon. But find some shoulder rolls, some movement, maybe a little sway side to side, a swing of your arms. Just let go of whatever that felt like or didn't feel like. And then come back to your nice tall stance that we started in. Close your eyes. Reassess your posture. Notice again how your body's feeling, where your mind is, and what your breath is like. Three good breaths here. Reach your arms to the sky, blink your eyes open, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, let it all go. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Take your feet a little bit wider. We're gonna come into a Malasana squat. So for me, that's wider than hip distance. For some folks, that's as wide as your mat. You decide. Hands to heart. It's okay if your heels are lifted. You can always roll up your mat underneath or take your feet wider. Otherwise, working your heels toward the ground is nice. And then toes and knees point in the same direction. So a little peek down. Make sure you're not doing something funky in or too far out. Try to lift your heart. Right arm down in front of your shin. Left arm to the sky. A little bit of a twist, a little openness across your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Back to center, take an inhale. And then to the other side, left hand down, right arm to the sky, open it up. And slowly release back to center. Lift your heart, breathe in. And exhale, hands down, fold, hips to the sky. Relax your head and neck. So kind of a wider, or maybe it feels like the same distance wide, um, forward fold, like a rag doll. You can keep your hands on the ground. You can hold your opposite elbows. You might sway a little side to side or pedal out your legs. A little break and release from your malasana squat. Hands toward the ground if they're somewhere else. Take a halfway lift, hands to shins or to the floor, breathe in. And then exhale, bend your left knee, bring your left hand, fingertips or palm below your face, right arm to the sky. So option to stay just like this. If you wanna use your strap or try for a bind, reach back down with your right hand, grab your strap, it's a little funky, you're gonna to have to swing it behind your bum, and then hold it there. Left arm can come between your legs, find the strap. If you've got the space, your right hand comes behind your back, left hand between your legs to hold on outside your left hip. So with the strap, right hand is behind you, left hand comes between your legs, you hold on. And then you can stay, just feel the space that creates, maybe pull your shoulders out of your ears. Or if you feel like you wanna play with Bird of Paradise prep, bend your knees a little, look down, heel toe your feet toward each other, press into your right foot. So I really bend my right knee, drop my hips, lift your left heel, you can look down, look slightly forward, Maybe you come to standing, holding onto your left leg. And it's okay wherever you are. If you've got the space in your hamstring still pretty early in this practice, you might try to straighten out your left leg. Not gonna happen for me today and that's okay. Beautiful. 
and then you can lower yourself all the way back down. We're gonna keep this same leg, so same bind. Wherever you are, if you're in the twist, hang out. Shift your weight into your left foot, like you're gonna kiss the ground, lean so far forward and start to slide your right foot back. That may be enough, you got it, Sam, or you can play with lifting your right leg, maybe working into that bound half moon. Slowly release your foot down if it's lifted. Let the strap come back through your legs to the front of your mats. Release your hands, shake it out, a little pedal, a little nod, a halfway lift, whatever else you need. And we'll try that on the other side. Halfway lift, breathe in. Right knee bends, right fingertips below your face, left arm to the sky. And remember, you can totally stay here. And if that was a long time to stay in the twist, you can do something else from there. If you wanna play with the bind with or without the strap, Left hand behind your back, right arm between your legs to connect. I like this drop with the left hand so I can take it behind me. Sam's got it with her right hand. And then right hand reaches back for the strap. See if you can find the space first, really open your chest, your shoulders. That's plenty stay to play with that bird of paradise or bird of paradise prep, feet a little closer together. Wait into your left leg, bend your knees, send your butt down, lift your right heel. Maybe you rise to standing, holding on to your right leg. And it's okay if it feels like your hands are really far away with the straps. Sometimes it's harder, and that's all right. Maybe you straighten out your right leg. You got it, don't worry. <laughs> that's always fun. And when you've had enough, lower back down. Keep the same bind, or keep the twist, or release it. Wait into your right foot for that bound half moon. Slide or step your left foot back. This may be plenty. I think about pressing so much into my right big toe and looking so far down that my body weight shifts forward and my back leg gets really light. Fall out, that's part of it. When you're over it, release your strap back toward the front of your mats. And again, find some little movements. We'll move into that from another shape from our side angle, but sometimes that forward fold gives us the accessibility or the ability to know that we can go there from a different shape. Halfway breathe in. Fold, exhale. Let's keep our feet wide or wherever they are. You don't have to adjust. Inhale, rise to standing arms overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms, take a little back bend. Hands to the sky, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. Grab your strap in both hands if you've got it, and if not, just play, pretend you've got a strap. Back heel is gonna pivot down. We're gonna open to warrior two, holding your arms in the strap over your head. See if you can find that little stretch, that little openness through your chest without popping out your ribs. It's still engaging through your core. And then lean forward, inhale. Exhale to side angle, you can lower your left forearm down. So you've got the strap in your right hand, Open up your shoulders, so it's kind of a turn toward the back of the, the room, the back of your space, and your strap falls behind you. Then left arm can come inside, underneath your leg, to find your strap for a bind. And absolutely, if you don't need the strap, you've got the space, you can ditch it. Keep your shoulders open. Same option to stay, feel the shape, use the strap to open up, or to come into Birds of Paradise, a peek down, a big step or several steps forward with your right foot. Press into your right foot. Rise to standing as much or as little as you want. Can be really low like me, it can be nice and high. Depends on your strap, your bind. Step it back down. And then we'll play with coming into that bound half moon once again. If you like, you can stay in the side angle or start to shift your weight into your left foot. Reach your right leg to the sky. Slowly lower down if you're lifted. Ditch your strap back toward the top of your mats. Reverse triangle, give your legs a nice, well-deserved break. Big breath in. Exhale it out. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Vinyasa to a child's pose, a down dog. Take a cow and cat if you'd like a little reset. Any transition of choice. Any movement, shape. Stillness of choice. As you're in these moments of pause, it can be the time where we analyze, or we process. 
and that's okay, there's no judgment. But try to simply notice your breath, be present. Rather than thinking or overthinking, try to really just embody and be in your practice, in the space that you're in, with your breath. Back to your tabletop to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step or hop to the top of your mat, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Full, breathe out. Stand tall, reach high, full inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms, slide your shoulders down your back, lift your chest, feel that space. Inhale, hands high and exhale, fold forward. Lift halfway, breathe in. Hands down, left foot steps back this time. Find your low lunge, and then reach for your strap in both hands. If you're using it, if you didn't like it, you wanna try without, absolutely you can. We're gonna hold that strap and rise up to warrior two. The strap, and you can choose how wide you wanna take this with your arms. Maybe it feels good to take that little stretch back. Maybe you want your arms wider or closer together. Legs stay the same, imagine that tilt forward of your upper body, and then take it to your side angle, right forearm drops, so you can release the strap. Left arm can sweep back and behind you, so your strap is behind your right leg. And then if you want the bind, right arm goes inside and under to connect. Option to absolutely stay there, use that strap to create more space, or for birds of paradise, a peek down. Helps to ground, big step or several steps forward with your back foot. Press into your left foot. For me, I really drop my bum, look forward, and then lift my chest. Keep your heart open, your shoulders wide, your spine as long as you can get it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice, Sam. When you're ready to release, right foot steps down. Either back to your side angle with or without the bind, with or without the strap, or if you want to take that bound half moon variation, weight into your right foot. I kind of lean so far forward, I have to step or slide my left foot up that it starts to float off the ground. And all of these are super challenging, so remembering steps along the way are a great place to start, and each day, each practice is really different. Really sit down if you're still lifted. Let go of your strap, you can ditch it to the front. Reverse triangle, stretch it up and back, right arm to the sky, big breath in. Stay as you exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the ground. Make your way through vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog to down dog or straight to a child's pose, to any other shape, to rest or reset. And for many of us, anatomically, we just don't fit into binds in the same way that others do. So if you have shorter arms, if you have larger shoulders, more developed chest or upper back, it may be harder to find the bind. And that's neither good or bad, doesn't mean anything about you. It's just the way that you are in your shape, in your meat suit, as I say, today. So that's where a strap props can be really helpful in assisting and just giving a little bit more space to our wingspan. Find your tabletop, breathe in. Lower your forearms as you exhale. And elbows right below your shoulders. A nice little check is hands to opposite elbows. Palms can either be flat, like making a number 11 with your arms, or you can connect your hands. Walk your feet back so you're in a plank on your forearms. And then notice if your butt feels kind of high, can you drop it down? Little scoop under your tailbone to engage your low belly. You can absolutely stay here. You can take some rocks forward and back, kind of moving through your shoulder socket. Stay strong with your breath. I'm already out of breath and shaking. You might be too. Lots of full body, lots of core here. Let's take one more. And then knees down, hips down for Sphinx pose. So elbows are right below your shoulders, forearms stay as they are. Make a number 11 if you weren't there. Open your chest, imagine shoulders down your back. You can hang out here, or if you want to take it into seal, a more yin posture, press into your hands, 
Lift your elbows. Yeah, hands might go a little wider. Nice, Sam. Notice if you're clenching, a little engagement of your glutes is not a bad thing. If there's a really tight squeezing, you might find some softness. And keep shoulders out of your ears. Full breath in. Exhale, lower elbows if they're lifted. And then take a little crocodile, elbows wide. Stack your hands, rest your forehead on your hands. Give yourself a moment here just to be belly down. It might feel nice for you to shimmy your hips a little side to side or to bend your knees and windshield wiper your legs, right and left. Slowly roll onto your back, release your legs, just flip over, you can keep your head in the same direction. That way the strap is by your head. I might have said we don't need it anymore, but I'll give you the option to use it now. Hug both knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze, a little rock side to side, massage your low back. Keep your right knee hugging in, your left leg extends nice and long. And then if you like, you can grab your strap and loop it around the sole of your right foot. I like around my arch, some people like more around the ball of their foot, that's up to you. Once you have the strap around your foot, you're gonna reach your foot up to the sky. You can hold on to either side of the strap, however high or low is comfortable for you. Yeah, and then a little bit of movement here. It might be pointing, flexing, rolling your ankle, or gently drawing your leg in, some circles. Let this be organic. Notice what your legs are asking for, how your body feels. If you have the strap in both hands, bring it just into your right hand and then let your leg open gently to the right. And it may not be anywhere close to the ground. Try to keep your left hip bones glued down. So glutes are glued down. Maybe left hand to hip is helpful there. Continue to breathe, full deep breaths, even as we're slowing things down. And then take it all the way up and across your body. So strap into your left hand if you've got it. No worries if you don't, you can just take your leg across. Right arm extends, you can look right, let the twist move into your neck. Imagine you could energetically draw your right hip away from your shoulder to find a little bit more space. And then come back to center, <clears throat> excuse me, release your strap. You can place it just off to the side. Take a little moment in a mini Shavasana to notice the differences between your right and left legs, how that feels, a little pause. And then draw both knees back in toward your chest. A little rock, a little shift, a little circles. This time we'll keep left leg hugging in, right leg extends, or whatever you didn't do on the first side. Grab your strap if you wanna use it. Loop it around your foot, watch that buckle. It's hit me in the face many times. <laughs> and then leg up to the sky. You choose where you hold it, how you hold it, what you do here. So let this movement or stillness be what you need. Yeah, I like the more dynamic stuff for myself. Some folks like a little bit more static holds. If you have your strap, both sides of your strap into your left hand, let your leg open out to the left. Keep your right hip and glute glued down, so if it's helpful, right hand there. It may be nowhere near the ground or as far as Sam is. Mine is kind of way up here when I do it, and that's okay. And when that feels like the right amount of time, you can take it all the way across your body, switch your strap into your right hand, extend your left arm out to the side, look left, and imagine drawing your left hip down away from your shoulder to create more space along your side and along your low back.
as that feels like this, the right amount of time or even right and left. Just bring yourself back to center. Feel free to ditch your strap unless there's something else you wanna do with it. And then you've got a few minutes to find any last shapes that will really complete this practice for you today. A bridge pose, a happy baby, a figure four, some other stretch, some other shape, an inversion of some kind. Try to keep some of the openness you created through your chest, your upper back, back of your legs. And maybe with that physical openness, you find an energetic openness, a mental and emotional openness that will carry you into final rest as you're ready to get there. Any shape is fantastic for Shavasana. Snuggle your shoulders down your back. Relax your face, your jaw, your eyes. Let your breath be relaxed and natural. Give yourself permission to be the observer of your thoughts and of your experience. Notice as things come and as things go, you are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions, you are not your experience. They're simply passing qualities. If you would like to continue, please stay as long as you'd like. If you feel ready to move on with your day, start with some very gentle movement, a rock side to side of your head, maybe your thumb across your fingertips. Let those movements get gradually larger, roll your wrists, your ankles. Extend your arms above you, full stretch. And with your eyes closed, slowly, gently come up toward a comfortable seat. Pause here for a moment, sit up tall, relax your shoulders down your back, out of your ears and place your palms together in front of your heart. Thank yourself for making the time to move, to breathe, to be present and in your body in this practice. I thank you all for joining me. We'll bow our heads together in silence to close this practice. Have a lovely rest of the day. If you have any questions, requests, please feel free to send them my way and hopefully I will see you soon. Enjoy.